Bulls, the reigning Mac East champions, to take on Nebraska, and off we go. And as has been the case through two games, Brendan Frankie and Keelan Meyer, the two kickoff specials. Milking that play clock down to one to start the ball game, and they hand it off to a talented running back in Kevin Marks, who's six all time in school rushing yards, but he got swallowed up by Ben Stilley for a loss of two. Here early on. So now second down at 12, they fake it to Marks. And staying upright, getting some extra yardage. This time batted down, that's Caleb Tanner. Van Trees able to complete it out wide into the hands of Dominic Johnson. Well, they were worried, Buffalo and head coach Bo Linguis, about the crowd noise. It got loud there. Van Trees had to go up to the line to communicate the play, but it worked out. And they return it to Kevin Marks, the senior from Norfolk, Virginia, for a pickup of two. You can see right away Nebraska doing it. Right. A little crease. And down inside the 45. Another third down, third and two. Marks gets the first off that left side, running behind those big offensive linemen for a gain of three. Ninth play of the drive. They pop it in front. And down to the 35, Cameron LeBourne, a freshman who did not play last week. They like this kid, and it's the nine plays, and already down at the 35-yard line of Nebraska. Here's Ron Cook. He's the second back. Of course, the loss in Illinois, and then the bounce-back win here last week against Fordham. 11th play of the drive, and another good run, another first down. Holding offense number 79, 10-yard penalty, third down. Tell you what. Buffalo. They haven't had a play on this drive longer than 13 yards. They're going to need something here. They set up the screen. And Cook. Good matchup to the top of the screen, one on one. Movement. This Memorial start. Stadium being Memorial Stadium. Office number 58, five yard penalty. Samori Ture is back deep. And that one takes a Nebraska bounce for it. Martinez's 30th career start, the first three-time captain in Nebraska history, and he hands it off. There's a shoulder injury that's really bothered him since his high school days. Here he pops the pass in front to Xavier Betts. And Betts all the way out near the 40. And now Martinez. Short game, James Patterson with a stop after a pickup of one. Pitch and catch over the middle, Austin Allen. And Allen, boy, he's hurt. Position is thin as well. Nebraska will have to go utilize their depth. Right now, they turn to the ground. Flag coming in as Marquis Step is stacked up after getting the first down. Yeah, they'll probably accept the penalty. It was a personal foul. Grasping and twisting the face mask. Defense, 15 yard penalty automatic. One of those guys that stout up front for Buffalo with his first penalty. Off the play fake, Martinez. Plenty of time, little pitch and catch. Ooh, and then upended. Deeper in the tight end rotation. Thankfully, he's okay. Now Martinez throwing that high for another tight end. Third down and three. Martinez is going to keep. He's got it. That's what he can do. 
It was an eight-yard run by Martinez. Now here's Gabe Irvin, and Irvin on his first carry of the afternoon. West Virginia is where he began his career. And nothing here. And there is Taylor Riggins. 11th play of the drive. Pocket collapses. Somehow, Martinez with a little Houdini act. And Colt missed it. Grazing off the upright. Had two drives, 23 plays, 99 yards, but no points yet after the missed field goal. And Van Trees had that throw disrupted. Short gain on the ground, and that'll bring up third and seven. Van Trees almost had it intercepted by Cam Taylor Britt. As Evan Finnegan boots it away. As in Nebraska, begin this drive. And they do it on the ground with a short carry. We got an injury update. Let's go. Good news for the Cornhuskers. Strong run here. Morrison splits out of Martinez on a design run. Quarterback wrap. It's Nebraska's signature play when they empty the backfield. And this time, a little trickery. Buffalo not overly fooled on the direct snap to Morrison. They did get three out of it. They only allowed this defense 18 rush yards last week. Now that was Wagner. This is Nebraska. But after this carry, Nebraska has 28 rushing yards so far in the first half. By the way, how about Scott Frost wearing sleeves in this weather today? That's a little bold move. Morrison finding a little hole, and he will get enough for the first down. He would send you a runs in that first quarter. 16 plays for Nebraska, 12 of them on the ground. And Damon, you can see, as you talked about at the end of the quarter, they want to establish that ground game. Yeah, it's fine. Seven runs on this drive alone. And they're going to run the option. Martinez pitches at the very last second. And now, third down and three. Nobody's home. Miscommunication, step stopped. Well, you're in plus territory here. It's fourth down. You keep the offense out there. First pass of the drive, or second, I should say. It's complete. And it works out to perfection. Samori Ture. Oh, wait. Wait. Surely. Yeah, Nebraska saw something on the miscommunication. So the pick, a racer out there, and Daniel Cherney to kick it away. It's twice in two weeks that they've been called for offensive pass interference. Goes into the end zone. Pick or anything that raised the level of offensive passing teams. All right, Dean, and because of that, wipe out the touchdown. So Nebraska's really left 10 points on the table because they also had the missed 32 yard field goal. So Buffalo, second down and eight. Movement up front. And then a tackle in the backfield. Ty Robinson coming over for the stop. Offside, defense number 93, entering the neutral zone to snap. Five-yard penalty, second. McDuffie, the third back for Buffalo, but they think this guy has a lot of talent. They have been limited so far to 21 rushing yards on nine carries. Now 10 carries here this afternoon, and that one almost popped free. Back to Kevin Marks, their lead running back. On third and three coming up. 
Deontay Williams with 10.47 remaining in the second quarter. And Marks bounces it outside. Another run. Hard contact, well, Luke Reimer. Certainly had enough speed on that play and enough power as well. Punt is angled, but it goes into the end zone for a touchback. Hornhusker start from their own 20. This offensive and defensive line have not been intimidated by the guy standing across from them, the jerseys, the crowd. They are matching up step by step and hit for hit with Nebraska and I got to tell you you look on this sideline a lot of confidence right now five year penalty as we said this Buffalo team since 2017 is the winningest program in that conference and even though they've got a new head coach they're not missing anything today over the middle that is hauled in by Chris Hickman the tight end yeah 6 5 2 15 and remember without Vokalek and Allen going out earlier thin at tight end Martinez Somehow, somehow escapes trouble. And not only that, but look at this. Martinez all the way down inside the five. And the whole senior year, he's still a work in progress. And they had a face mask, so that puts the ball at the two. And it's a two-yard touchdown run for number 22, Gabe Urban. Trice back to work, and the quarterback is able to complete this into the hands of Keon Williams. They're really starting to settle in with how they want to rush the passer. Scott Frost again is none too happy with them moving the sticks. Van Trice for the first time is going to put some air under it. Coverage by Deontay Williams, no flag. He defends Giovanni Ringer. Two interceptions last week against Fordham, doubling his career total. Really changed his body type. Got, he's gotten a lot quicker. Now has the ability to not only turn your lights out, but can play man to man. Talented safety. They find a soft spot over the middle, going back to Keon Williams. Van Trees hands it off. It's a loss. Oh, this is a gigantic play in this game right now. He didn't get there. Luke Reimer. Leipold was their head coach, but he opted to stay and walk on at Nebraska. And now he gets the offense, the football back here. Flag comes in as Martinez. Will it stand? Holding. Offense number 54. 10 yard penalty. Set it out. It will not. Bryce Benhart on the offensive line with a penalty. Our top 10 wide receiver back in the 2019 class. You mentioned from Bellevue West High School in Omaha. And now Martinez going to do it again with his leg. You don't appreciate it anymore. You want something different and shiny. Well, he's got 110 rushing yards. However, this time, step going in the wrong direction is Max Michelle. Nebraska, but you think about the missed field goal and then the two touchdown passes they had wiped out by penalties. The most recent one to Xavier Betts. Van Tree swings it out. You mentioned Nebraska with the two timeouts. I'm a little surprised they didn't use one right there. Looking for a negative play here, and then they'll use a timeout. And Van Trees is going to hand it off. 
Going to be well short. Luke Reimer with another tackle. Fourth down and five. Now Van Trees can punt. And that's what he'll do. He's done this several times in his career. And look at this. Not only can he punt, he punted it too far. 81 yards into the end zone. Only six passes in this first half. Four of six for Martinez. Safety valve. And if you're wondering, Connor Culp's career long is 49, so you need to get to about... Here's a third and three. And twisting his way forward, Gabe Urban for an important first down. The word that comes to... Look at that, 22 runs out of 30 plays in this first half. Ray on the skinny post. 68 yards to the former FCS All-American at Montana. It's a simple win. He gives up the inside. Great little stem. Slides open. Real good delivery from Martinez on time. Well, there's only been two plays in this game, Damon, over 20 yards, both of them by Nebraska. Ture had the big game last week, 133 yards, and afterwards he said, man, playing in front of that crowd was amazing. That is why I came to be a Cornhusker. And he just electrified that crowd again. Pretty good run here for McDuffie. Now, Buffalo does have two timeouts. And feeling good about themselves. Yeah, that's shifted. I mean, if they could... Trying to work the sideline, he did not. Senior quarterback Kyle Van Trees, 9 of 15, but just 53 yards passing. Well, Great add ball. to that number here, that was impressive. And that's what they do. Well, that was well executed. Pushed it. And the big win last week here, blowing away Fordham. And that pass incomplete. Personal foul, illegal hand to the face. Defense, number six, 15-yard penalty automatic, first down. So that's a costly penalty right now at Buffalo. Let's go down to Rick. Brandon is wearing a baseball cap and the leg pads are off, so his day is done. So they are short and tight end and receiver. It's Martinez flipping that out to Hickman. <laughs> 27 yards to the 27 on that last play. And now this one going in the wrong direction. Underneath, little Mahomes sidearm throw to Urban out of the backfield. Urban, the freshman, stepped the USC transfer. This is the Montana transfer to Ray. Instead of trying to go for it on fourth and seven, they're going to have the 42-yard field goal attempt for Connor Culp, who missed earlier from 32. And again, it's pushed off to the right. And the 2020 Big Ten Kicker of the Year, Connor Vantrese, gets ready to guide the Buffalo offense again. And Van Trees kind of finds the soft spot over the top. The only team that offered him a scholarship out of high school, Buffalo. Bouncing off one would-be tackler, short game for Kevin Martz. And their head coach is such an upbeat, energetic guy, and Mo Linguist, that's what he's known for. It's his first ever head coaching job here with the Cowboys. Seven months ago, he was in Ann Arbor. He was going to go to work with Coach Arbaugh. And now third and one, and they finally break a big run with Kevin Marks. And they were part of a win against the University of Nebraska. They were. A 30-yard run, though, given life to Buffalo. As they're on the edge of Nebraska's red zone here today before the game here at Memorial Stadium. And Buffalo right now trying to knock on the door with this black shirt defense and Garrett Nelson and Nick Henrich knocking them back for a loss. Result of play that the runner was short of the line again following the play, unsportsmanlike conduct. 
offense number eight 15 yard penalty third down it is eight's first unsportsmanlike conduct penalty a second result in game disqualification pressure Mantrese completes it to Williams and that will tie his career long Martinez is the pocket collapses here he goes again we have seen that a handful of times and that may be a late flag no they didn't throw oh yes they did in control Nebraska needs to convert here they need five yards Martinez and that's complete after a little bobble first down that last catch by Chancellor Brewington the walk on Northern Arizona transfer kind of fell into Nebraska's lap in the offseason and tested well enough to say hey listen you may be able to help us out when he had two touchdowns last week and now they return to the ground game hard straight ahead running the 49 this is similar to how they struggled running the ball at the back position against Illinois, David. This time they pass it to Morrison, but coming up, making a nice play, Marcus Fuqua, sophomore safety, comes out on fourth and three. Believed to just be the second Australian to play Nebraska football. Joining Brett Popplewell, who was a... of time but Van Trees just has to get rid of it now you all kinds of time but Van Trees just has to get rid of it now you see Buffalo's coaches they want a late hit yeah they he took a shot from Nick Henrich they do throw a very late flag it was more a shove than a shot. At least that's the way it looked real time as we'll take a look. Definitely a push, but late. Pretty good acting job by Van Trees. Is that Golden Globe worthy? <laughs> I'll let you know after we hear the call. Yeah, but that, that's a morning. Unsportsmanlike Coach conduct. Was... Sideline interference. Yep. Buffalo bench. Half the distance to the goal. Second down. You're exactly right, Damon. It comes flying off. Flags flying as well. The helmet came off of Damian Daniels. Your helmet, you were no longer allowed to participate in the play. It's kind of just instinctive. Also has to sit the next play out. Foul. Defense number 93 continuing without a helmet. 15 yard penalty automatic. First down. We're talking about a momentum changer. Just an instinctive, kind of natural play by a football player. You'd think, hey, I have no helmet, I'll just stop. But yeah. I mean, you want to, you're yep. taught to finish the play. Fifth personal foul of the game. Now a 15-yarder on Nebraska. There's Ruiz. He's one of their top two wideout. Year. Now it's Martz's show. He's catching it this time. Van Trees lost it downfield, but a little in front of Ruiz. And Eric Shenander, defensive coordinator, he told us, Damon, that those two have been the hardest practice guys on defense. You wouldn't think that from guys that old. He said they take no plays off. Yeah, it's part of their attitude. They're the, they're the tempo tone setters. Do the most barking as well. Press conference, he's got enough talent to make every play you need from the quarterback position. And a nice, solid connection there. Fresh set of downs, and they run a counter option. And it works. 
works out pretty well. Now Bart, here he goes again. Yeah, you were a two-time national <laughs> champion here. Things were a little different. Oh, Martinez hit from behind. That was almost disaster. They're trying to say, is that a live football? They officially, they'll rule it incomplete. Now third and 11, you're just outside of field goal range. Off his back foot, Martinez too far. He led to Ray. But Buffalo just keeps hanging around. That one checks up perfectly. That's a pretty good result for Buffalo just to get a little breathing room, four yards. Marks this time going in the wrong direction. Oh, that's huge. Van Trees able to complete it to Dominic Johnson. That'll wind his time. Van Trees, the reigning conference offensive player of the week, just threw an interception. Reimer picked it. And Reimer is knocked out just shy of the goal line. He grew up a wide receiver safety. Grew into that frame. And now the handoff up the middle, a walk-in touchdown, second of the game for Gabe Urban. Extra point, good, and Nebraska turns defense into offense. Just as we were praising Kyle Van Trees. And here he's hit as he releases it, and he throws another interception. Nope, it hit the ground, it hit the ground. It would have been Reimer again walking it in. But he's a fantastic teacher. That is the Part inside is linebacker Paul spot Stark. at Nebraska. Very Office number 79. underappreciated. Five-yard penalty, second down. Another measured throw into Nebraska territory. Jake Malenich, we do have a flag that comes in. Ineligible receiver downfield, offense for 59. Five-yard penalty, first down. Of course, Nebraska had two touchdowns called back and two missed field goals as well on the other side. Second down at 15. Trying to fight forward, he won't make it. It'll be third down and short. Third and one. No problem, first down and more. That's McDuffie. And McDuffie almost had it stripped there by Jojo Doman, but he hangs on to it. Van Trace, Britt. Team captain Cam Taylor Britt from Montgomery, Alabama. 19th start today in his career. Able to make a couple miss. There's Keon Williams, who they call Q. Third and two, but this is probably four down territory right now. Team type safeties Nebraska's been able to recruit. They're going quick, Damon. Second effort. I don't know that McDuffie got there. Yeah. He did not. They do. Van Trees releases it late as he's hit. It's incomplete. There are no flags. Urban has the two rushing touchdowns. So Nebraska's defense just got their second fourth down stop. And now Urban adding to his totals. And then no rush here, milking the clock with his lead in the fourth quarter. They go to Urban again. Urban again. Urban only had five yards in the first half, and now he's up over 50 in the second half. They split out Urban. It's 
feels like Martinez all the way. It is, but he's wrangled down right at midfield. E.J. Brown, the West Virginia transfer, making the stop loss of two. Well, he's had an outstanding game. Yeah, the biggest difference in the game right now is average yards per completion. Nebraska at 14-5, Buffalo at eight. Nebraska has found a way to chunk them when opportunities uh, been available. Yeah, those two big plays in the first half, 71 yards. McNulty, 45-yard field goal. Van Treese, too tall. And now we'll figure out the difference for them. Kennedy under Bo Linguis again this year. This is Buffalo's 11th drive, and all 11 have started inside their own 30. They have not been given great field position. Swinging it out along the sideline, Ron Cook, Jr. Pressure up the middle. Van Trees incomplete. Had to throw it off his back foot. Couldn't connect with Marlon Johnson. Well, Finnegan didn't punt a single time last week, but he's been busy here this afternoon. And they ran into Cam Taylor Brick. I think that. Now each team, one turnover. And there's Kevin Marks. Only a two yard gain. Nebraska tackles for two weeks. Buffalo going a little quicker. And that pass knocked down there again. Their 18th third down play. Setting up a screen. Tackle from behind made by Nick Henrich again. Pushed it. Or does it curl back? No. They're going to throw it. How about this? How about this? Instead of running out the clock, they go for the touchdown instead. It's Terre again. That might be the backbreaker. And these elements all day. We appreciate them and all they've done. Between the end of 2019 and the start of 2021. That one almost intercepted. Reimer could have had a second. Proving that today. That ball deflected, but it falls in front of Cam Taylor Britt. Excellent point, Rick, for that showdown next weekend in Norman. That's the 41st pass for Kyle Van Treese. No, he only threw it 19 times last week when they put up. Four, 569 yards of offense, most of them on the ground. Now 42 passes, this one to Ruiz. And there comes the flag. Johnson was calling for it, and he got it. But boy, Van Trees took another pop. Pass interference, defense number 11, at the spot of the foul, automatic. First down. He's the tallest of the defensive backs at 6'4", but grabbed the jersey there. Still with their starters out there in search of their first touchdown, and this won't help. Van Trees. They've been impressive. That pass, though, is complete down inside the 35, and again targeting Tyler Stevens. The backup tight end. And look, Damian Jackson, the former Navy SEAL, making his way onto the field here on September 11. He's got his regular home and then the other place that he lives. Yeah, they say that no guys on the side of the that side of the ball can do what he can do in the weight room. Stuff that most of us will never ever see. No flags. Right now, this black shirt defense just focused on keeping Buffalo out of the end zone. Kyle Van Trees running for his life, and he's just going to get to the edge. Pressure up the middle, and that pass incomplete. Wait. 
flags before, and this looks like it's going to be on Buffalo. Zero. Five yard penalty. Fourth down. He's got pretty good command of this offense, and he's playing next to a talented running back in Ramir Johnson. Johnson's first carry. Very talented high school program. I knew you were a bright guy in your bag. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well, I probably could have rented a second house in Piscataway with all the Rutgers games I've seen over the last four years. So, <laughs> no Johnny letting him pretty well. There's a handoff again to Johnson. Well, if Nebraska, the two chunk plays came to Ture. This time, Smothers is looking for a chunk play of his own. We're already without Travis Vokalek, who they hope to get back next week or the week after. Nebraska's setting their sights on Norman. The other. Run another play. That defense did its job. First time holding a team to three points since back in 2011 against Michigan State. Option play, Smothers pitches, and there is your exclamation mark. Touchdown, Will Nixon. Wait, there's a flag. Illegal forward pass, offense number eight. Five yard penalty from the pass. And he's gonna send on his field goal unit, but not before getting a few more words in with the officials. It's close. Oh, my. Boy, no good. Next week's going to be in front of a pretty hostile crowd. So just five seconds left now. And this will write an end 